Technology has increased the capacity of criminal networks to do great harm faster and over large distances. Cross-border and transnational crime leverages modern technology to escape detection and interception. Resources, technologies, and information are shared across the world over digital infrastructures, and criminal actors can move with ease across international borders. Closer home, political crisis, armed conflict, instability, and civil strife have led to the trafficking in weapons and the proliferation of illicit arms in civilian hands, intensifying the capacity of bandits and cattle rustlers to wreak havoc among our pastoral communities in Kenya, especially in our arid and semi-arid rangelands. Similarly, terrorism, drug trafficking, and other serious crimes benefit from our location as a geostrategic hub and proximity to political and security crisis in order to perpetuate their heinous crimes. We shall no longer follow the tradition of putting cattle rustlers, bandits, and other criminals on notice. Instead, we will move resolutely and systematically to take measures to make our presence, intent, and capability evident for all to see. The interests of Kenyans are not to be infringed without serious consequences. I repeat that the rights, freedoms, lives, and livelihoods of the citizens of the Republic of Kenya shall not be interfered with without a robust and effective response. We have no choice as a country except to rise up to the challenge and to do all we can to ensure that Kenyans and their interests are safe and that people can lead their lives and pursue their aspirations within our borders in a free, open, and democratic society that is safe and secure. You are the custodians of our freedom and prosperity. We therefore have a duty to live up to our respective parts of our pact to keep Kenya safe, free, and working. 